you know, years ago, and I, I read about, you know, like, you know, a book about how to have, you know, b- become aware of your dreams. I, I worked on it for a while. Like there's this trick about, you know, imagine you can see your hands and look out and, and I got somewhat good at it. Like, but my mostly, when I'm thinking about things or working on problems, I, I, I prep myself before I go to sleep. It's like I, I pull into my mind all the things I want to work on or think about. And then that, let's say, greatly improves the chances that I'll, I'll work on that while I'm sleeping. And, and then and then I also, you know, basically ask to remember it. And I often remember very the, detailed. Within the dream yeah. or outside the dream. Well, to bring it up in, in my dreaming and then to remember it when I wake up. It's just, it's, it's more of a meditative practice to say, you know, to prepare yourself to do that. Like if you go to, you know, to sleep, still gnashing your teeth about some random thing that happened that you're not that really interested in, you'll dream about it. That's really interesting. Maybe, but, I, but you can direct your dreams prepping. somewhat by prepping. You know, I'm going to have to try that. It's really interesting. Like the most important, the interesting, not like, uh, Oh, what, what did this guy send in an email kind of like stupid worry stuff but like fundamental problems you're actually concerned about yeah. and, prepping and interesting things you're worried about or, or books you're reading or you know some great conversation you had or yeah. some yeah. some adventure you want to have like there's there's a lot of space there mm-hmm. and and it, it, it seems to work that you know my percentage of interesting dreams and memories went up 